Hello guys, and welcome back to Nate Sports Talk. I know you guys have heard the rumors that Nico Barella could be coming to Liverpool for 80 mil, but please don't buy it. It is just another FSG propaganda BS that we've gone through over and over and over. And unless we sell Tiago to uh, Saudi Arabia, he's rumored with, we're not spending 80 mil on one player. Nico Barella coming to Liverpool and having John Henry spend 80 mil net net spend on a single player is like England thinking the World Cup's going to come to them and go home. It's not happening, all right? There's certain things in life that don't happen. England don't win trophies. John Henry doesn't spend money. It, it just it just is what it is. Uh, I would love Nico Barella to come to Liverpool. I'm not saying that. Uh, I've said in previous videos where I think Nico Barella is a quality of player that we need to bring to Liverpool and bolster our midfield someone who could dominate games for us he did really well in the Champions League final for Inter this season he was someone who is calm on the ball he knows where he wants to go with the ball before he gets it he can pass really well he's not the most mobile but he is mobile to a certain extent he just isn't going to be lightning quick around the pitch but he can also drop back and play some defensive and play defensively uh, he's good at tracking runners he's someone who could fit into the clock mold of what we think of clock midfielders an engine but there's no way there's no way he's coming to us for 80 mil john henry just does not spend money and we've allowed it to happen for many 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 years uh Honestly, the only way that this happens, that he comes to Liverpool, is if FSG sell. And I know a lot of you guys are FSG out, but and you guys already know not to believe anything that comes out of uh, people's mouths about spending more than 40 mil on players, because that's, that's just not what we do. I promise you in the next couple weeks, we'll see a post that says, Liverpool have been monitoring or interested in Nico Barella, but decided that 80 mil was too high or he's not the kind of player we want. We want someone better. Uh, we think he's going to stunt the growth of Tyler Morton. So, something along those lines. Or he wants too much uh, wages, but we were willing to pay 80 mil. It's just the wages just held us up. Like, it's the same thing every single time. We're struggling to even get the Kefren Taram deal over the line that that's something that we've been rumored to be doing for two three weeks now and now it's just gone cold if you have seen a post about Kefren Taram being uh, finished and signed it's not that's not true either uh, I think David Lynch had posted something an uh, article or it was a fake David Lynch report but either way it's not true. Kefren Thuram has not signed for Liverpool yet. Hopefully, maybe that's something that will come down the line. But knowing FSG, we're going to end up, he's going to come back from the U21 Euros and someone is going to put in a bid for him. It's probably going to be like Strasbourg or something, some random team. And we're going to say, oh, we don't want to get into a bidding war and back out, go after Manu Kone uh, uh, or I don't know, some Mickey Van de Ven. Yeah, we're going to go after Mickey Van de Ven and try and tell us he might sign for 20 25 mil and then have people try and tell us that he's the next Virgil van Dyke. like come on man it, it's predictable you know what's going to happen each and every time it's just it's just sad honestly we should do what the Boston Red Sox fans did when John Henry told us players are too expensive we should boom out the building and kick them out but we have all these top reds man who just uh, love and adore FSG for whatever reason there was a tweet that i saw and it was uh what was it? it was something about how they're tired of seeing social media fans and people who aren't from england supporting liverpool and saying how bad the club is ran and he wants them out and only and the real liverpool fans are the match going fans but someone replied to that tweet saying the almost the entire starting 11 is english like, the only English players are Jordan Henderson and Trent. At Allison Fabinho, Brazilian. Uh, Van Dyke, Dutch. 
Robertson, Scottish, but the list goes on and on. Basically, every all of our key players have aren't from England, so that tweet makes no sense. Uh, just because we don't go to matches doesn't mean that we don't equally care about the club, uh, equally equally care about the club as much as the next person. Just because you're fortunate fortunate enough to live right next to the stadium, guys like me and you are always so lucky to be able to go to those games. But uh, I, I do wish that we would be in for Gabri Vega a little bit more. I think that he's someone who's really good, someone who could provide an attacking presence for us that we've been missing, someone who can go forward. Maybe he rotates in and out with Alexis McAllister. Or maybe there's a game where, you know, we play one of the lower tier sides like a Luton where they just park the bus and we can go with two attacking midfielders and play them alongside each other while having a defensive mid covering for Trent or whoever or those other midfielders because we'll have most of the ball, be more ball dominant. Those are the kind of things that we should be looking at. But it, it's FSG and John Henry. We can only get one one player. Like that's, that's all we had. All this, all this, these rumors that we had 200, 250 mil to spend on this summer transfer window because it's the biggest uh, window of our of the last five, six years. Where, where's that? But honestly, I knew that it wasn't going to happen. I I assume most of you guys knew that that was BS too, and just more FSG propaganda because we all know it's we're never going to actually spend that kind of money as long as FSG are here and it's hard to not look at City and think wow I wish, I was, wish we had owners like that They're, they are about to lose America Laporte and bring in Gavardiol for 120 plus mil they lost Gundogan and probably will lose Bernardo Silva and they're looking at uh, Rice and Caicedo they just they just don't stop they just don't stop they're even trying to go after Kim and Jay now too. Uh, I I wish that Liverpool owners had that same ambition, and I wish fans had those same amb ambitions as well. When we look at how dominant we were in 2019 to 2021, between those time frames, we were probably the best team in the world, at least one of them. And instead of building upon that, we had owners and fans who believed that those guys could just keep going game in game out with no with no uh, rejuvenation no new players except for Seth Vandenberg and Harvey Elliott and Fabio Carvalho, Carvalho who doesn't play but what do I know right what, what, do, what do we know uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you haven't please go like comment subscribe I would greatly appreciate it let me know what you guys think in the comment section below bye bye